Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, which is on creating motion blur using Photoshop. This is a photo that I took a couple of years ago and a lot of people think that this photo is an actual natural photo where I'm standing in front of a taxi and you're, you're catching that motion as I'm facing dead on with that car. But here's the thing, this is not the original. This photo is the original and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that effect. So this is the image that we're going to be working on. And the first thing that I want to do with this photo is duplicate the layer. So we'll come over to our right panel here with layers and we're going to duplicate the layer. We have our copy layer. And so with that top layer selected, we're going to go up to filter, go down to blur and then a radial blur. And so in this option, we want the zoom blur method because we want that blur to be coming at us. And the quality here, well, we'll actually go with best. It'll just take a longer time in processing, but I generally like to stay between good and best. 50% is about where we want it. We don't want it to be too intense by going all the way to 100. And about 50% is really, really good. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to let that process and it's going to take a while because I did choose the best option and that takes a little bit of time to actually process. Now we have our photo with our motion blur effect. So now what we have to do is get the taxi to where you don't have the motion blur on the taxi. So what we're going to do is leave this layer selected. Let's come over to our left panel over here where our different tools are here in Photoshop. Use my eraser tool. And we want to change the brush size of this. That looks pretty good. So right now our opacity is on 64. So I'm actually gonna change this to 100. And we're just gonna take this over the part of the car. And the reason I have it on 100 is because the middle part, we want that to really be more in focus. And now we're gonna dial that down a bit and really get to work. So we'll go about 40% or so and see how that does. And just highlight the area that I wanna bring back in. And so just for the sake of time, I'll speed through this part. All right, and there you have it. Now, there are many other ways that you can also get that same look by using other tools in Photoshop, but that's just the way that I did it and the way that I like to, to do that. Try it out for yourself and see how it works out for your photos. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.